And players and coaches are applauding the move by the Jamaica Basketball Association for the formation of the first ever Women's National Basketball League, which is currently running alongside the Men's League. And it's really great to participate in it because they mostly have only males competition, so it's really great and really important to have a female game. It would be nice to have more teams to play against, but for now it's really great. That seemed to be the common sentiment from those who spoke with TVJ Sports regarding the playing of the first ever women's NBL. For Lady Warriors player Brunel Levine, the formation of the Women's League will also make more young girls see the sport of basketball as a way to gain a scholarship or even make a career. I think it's the fact that we don't have as much exposure as other sports in the female league. So it uh, tends to make some females, well, choose other sports as they think more opportunities are, opportunities are there in the other sports. So all I think we need is the exposure so that we can get the same sponsorship so that we can bring ourselves further in life. The women's games being played on the same day as their male counterparts is also helping to bring more eyes to the game, according to Lady Warriors coach Howard Harvey. Oh, the interest is high. The ladies are actually coming out to almost all the games. They are here, rain or shine. Um, and I see that we're getting some support nowadays from males coming out early to watch the games. I think it's also strategic and the job a path where they set the games in a particular way where supports are here for females. And it's very good. Currently, there are only four teams participating in the women's league, but stakeholders expect that the formation of this new league will only see more participation from women going forward. Well, I think because this competition started during the summer in, in starting, and a lot of the girls were not in Jamaica at the time that would normally play or were out of Kingston. So hopefully, now that this, everybody here that the female competition is playing, the more females will turn out and can play in the next competition coming. So this is a trailblazing event because it's the first time women are playing for the, the National Basketball League. Yes, we've had leagues before, but this is a double NBL. Um, we intend to continue. This is the start of something good. This is the start of building a pool of players that can represent our country and represent our country successfully. In the meantime, the Lady Eagles had a blowout 70-20 to win over the Lady Warriors in the latest action in the league on Saturday. Carissa Robinson registered 26 points, 10 steals, 9 rebounds and 7 assists, while Chanel Chin had 19 points and 4 rebounds. But despite the 50-point margin of victory, Lady Eagles coach Angelie Latouche says they didn't have it all their own way. I wouldn't call it an easy stroll. We came in the game with a plan to practice our transition and that's exactly what we focused on most of the game. Um, I know the, we struggled at times with layups, so we made that a focus for this game to practice to finish our layups. So for the first half, we did pretty good. For the second half, we kind of focused more on defense. So we had different goals going into each quarter. 